Hello student, this is the last topics of this chapter differentiation. Up to this, we have completed the standard formulas of the derivative, their rules. Then we also learn the chain rule of the derivative. Find the derivative of logarithmic functions, derivative of implicit, derivative of inverse function, and the derivative of parametric functions. Now this is also a very interesting topic that is the derivative of higher order derivatives. Up to this we have learned the derivative of the first order only the dy by dx. In this topics you will learn differentiate again the second time, third time, fourth time that is the higher order derivatives. All these are very interesting. If you do the hard work then you will be the master in mathematics. And before your schools and college which starts, you will get the full mass in mathematics. See my all videos very clearly, very accurately, very sincerely. Sometimes there may be the sound problem. Some of the examples it will be ups and downs. You try to understand it. Every time it will be not suitable for you, but you try to understand it. If you understand it, then I hope that you will get the sure out of marks in mathematics and also in your CET exam and the J exam. All the basic concept I am explaining in each and every example if you see this. Now again we will start here that is the derivative of higher order. Consider a differentiable function y is equals to f of x then dy by dx is equals to f dash of x. is the first order derivative of y. With respect to x. Now up to this we have seen that. That the dy by dx is equals to f dash of x. Is the derivative of first order derivative. If f dash of x is. A differentiable function of x then ddx of dy by dx is equals to it is denoted by d2y by dx square. Now how to read this? It is read as d2y by dx square or f double dash of x and this is the second order f double dash of x d2y by dx square is called second order derivative with respect to x If f double dash of x is a differentiable function of x, then ddx of how we read it ddx of d2y by dx square and that is equals to d3y by dx cube. It is a denoted by d3y upon dx cube or f triple dash of x is called the 
the third order derivative of y with respect to x. If we continue this, continuing in this way, we can say d n y of d x raised to n, d n y upon d x raised to n is nth order derivative of y with respect to x. These are called higher order derivative. Now the illustrative examples. Find the second order derivative of the function following. The first is x cube plus 7x square minus 2x minus 9. Now suppose y is equal to, if we have given this type of function, let y is equal to x cube plus 7x square minus 2x minus 9. Differentiate this with respect to x. Now, see this. What is the derivative of x cube? That is a 3x square. Derivative of x square is a 7 into 2. That is a 14x. Derivative of 2x. Derivative of this x is 1. Therefore, it is a minus 2. And derivative of this constant is 0. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to 3x square plus 14x minus 2. Now differentiate again with respect to x. Now, therefore, ddx of dy by dx is equals to ddx of 3x square plus 14x minus 2. Now what will the derivative of 3x square? It will become 1 power will be reduced here and 2 will come here. That is a 3 into 2. 6x plus 14. Again, derivative of this constant is 0. Therefore, 6x plus 14. This is the second order derivative. Six x plus fourteen, and hence a d2y by dx square is equals to six x plus fourteen. Now the next now you can see from this also if you want to write down then I will show this whatever that it is written. I will every time I will summarize my problem now. That is y is equals to x cube plus seven x square minus two x minus nine. It's a derivative the 3x square plus 14x minus 2. And again, second derivative, that is a, it's a second derivative, that is a 6x plus 14. Hence, d2x by, sorry, d2y by dx square is equals to 6x plus 14. Before you learn this, my topics, you must know all the previous four exercises. You must be master in that exercise. Now let us start the next example. Second, x square into e raised to x. y is equals to x square into e raised to x. 
Now differentiate this with respect to x. Now to differentiate this, we have to apply the product rule. That y is equals to u into b. That is a u into dv by dx plus v into du by dx. Now see this here. x square into d dx of e raised to x plus e raised to x into derivative of x square. This is x square into derivative of e raised to x plus e raised to x into d dx of x square. But what is the derivative of e raised to x? Is e raised to x. And what is the derivative of x square? E is a 2x. Now see this. Next is e raised to x in bracket x square plus 2x. This is the dy by dx. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equal to d dx of e raised to x in bracket x square plus 2x. Therefore, now here we will apply the product rule for e raised to x and x square plus 2x. This is u and this will be v. See this. e raised to x into d dx of x square plus 2x plus x square plus 2x into d dx of e raised to x. Now see this. What is the derivative of x square? Is a 2x and derivative of 2x is 2. What about the derivative of e raised to x? The derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. See this again. 2x plus 2 plus x square plus 2x derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. This is the second order derivative. It's a normal question. If it take that is a e raised to x as a common, then what will happen? Then it will be again more simplified form. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to x square plus 4x plus 2 bracket complete into e raised to x. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to x square plus 4x plus 2 into e raised to x. I will summarize again this problem. See this. This is the problem. Y is equals to x square into e raised to x. Differentiate this with respect to x. dy by dx is equals to x square into d dx of e raised to x plus e raised to x into d dx of x square. Derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x and derivative of x square is a 2x. Therefore, you are getting dy by dx is equals to take e raised to x as common. Then in bracket you will get x square plus 2x. Now again differentiate this with respect to x. Apply the product rule. Now here is e raised to x and derivative of x square plus 2x. The derivative of x square plus 2x is a 2x plus 2. Plus x square into x square plus 2x into d dx of e raised to x. Again what is the derivative of e raised to x? Derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. See this here. And final answer that is overall we are taking the e raised to x, e raised to x as a common. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to x square plus 4x plus 2 into e raised to x. Now, the next example. y is equals to e raised to 2x into sine of 3x. Now we can differentiate this with respect to x. Now you must know the derivative of e raised to 2x. The derivative of e raised to 2x is e raised to 2x. It is a composite function into derivative of 2x which is 2. Then what is the derivative of e raised to 2x? The derivative of e raised to 2x is e raised to 2x into 2. Again what is the derivative of sine of 3x? The derivative of sine is a cos. Therefore sine of 3x is cos of 3x but into derivative of 3x which is again 3. Apply the product rule. 
e raise to 2x into dx of sin of 3x plus sin of 3x into dx of e raise to 2x. Therefore, derivative of sin of 3x is cos of 3x into derivative of this 3x, which is 3. Again, sin of x as it is, derivative of e raise to 2x is e raise to 2x into derivative of 2x is 2. And now from overall this, again we will take e raise to 2x as a common in bracket 3 cos of 3x plus 2 sin of 3x. This is the dy by dx. Now differentiate this with respect to x. We have to apply the product rule ddx of dy by dx is equals to ddx of e raise to 2x in bracket 3 cos of 3x plus 2 sin of 3x. And that's why you are getting e raise to 2x into derivative of 3 cos of 3x plus 2 sin of 3x plus 3 cos of 3x plus 2 sin of 3x into ddx of e raise to 2x. Now here again the derivative of cos of 3x. Cos of 3x is a minus sin of 3x. And again derivative of this 3x which is 3. Then 3 into 3 it will become 9. Then it's a derivative overall comes minus 9 sin of 3x. What about here? The derivative of sin of 3x. The derivative of sin of 3x is cos of 3x into derivative of 3x which is 3. 3 into 2 6 that is a 6 cos of 3x. And derivative of e raise to 2x is again e raise to 2x into derivative of 2x is 2. Overall it's a derivative will be again 2 into e raise to 2x. See this here. minus 9 cos of sin of 3x plus 6 cos of 3x 3 cos of 3x plus 2 sin of 3x into derivative of e raise to 2x. It is a 2 into e raise to 2x. Now I am writing their derivatives directly now. In bracket, then you will get minus 9 sin of 3x plus 6 cos of 3x plus 6 cos of 6 3x plus 4 sin of 3x into e raise to 2x. This is. Now again, this we will simplify. Here is a that is a cos of 3x. 6x plus cos of 6x. That will become 12 cos of 3x. Minus. Now here is a minus 9 and plus 4. Overall you will get minus 5 sin of 3x. Into derivative into e raise to 2x. Therefore d2y by dx square is equals to e raise to 2x in bracket 12 cos of 3x minus 5 sin of 3x. Fourth one. Now see this again. These examples I will summarize this. Differentiate with respect to x dy by dx is equals to apply the product to e raise to 2x into ddx of sin of 3x plus sin of 3x into ddx of e raise to 2x. What's the derivative of sin of 3x? Is a cos of 3x into derivative of 3x is 3 plus sin of 3x into derivative of e raise to 2x. The derivative of e raise to 2x is e raise to 2x into derivative of this 2x which is 2. Next, in next step, we will take e raised to 2x as a common. 
then in bracket you will get 3 cos of 3x plus 2 sin of 3x. Now differentiate this with respect to x. That is the ddx of dy by dx. ddx of e raised to 2x in bracket 3 cos of 3x plus 2 sin of 3x. Now apply again here the product 2. Therefore e raised to x is the first term in today's of this is the ddx of 3 cos of 3x plus 2 sin of 3x plus 3 cos of 3x plus 2 sin of 3x into ddx of e raised to 2x. Therefore, derivative of 3 cos of 3x plus 2 sin of 3x. They are derivatives, that is the cos of 3x. If the derivative is a minus sin of 3x, derivative of 3x is 3, 3 into 3, 9. That is minus 9 sin of 3x. Again, the derivative of sin of 3x, which is a cos of 3x, into derivative of 3x is a 3, 3 into 2, that is a 6. Plus 3 cos of 3x plus 2 sin of 3x into derivative of e raised to 2x, that is a 2 e raised to 2x. Now, next, we take the common e raised to 2x as a common. Then in bracket, you will get minus 9 sin of 3x plus 6 cos of 3x plus 6 cos of 3x and plus 4 sin of 3x. That is if you multiply this 2 into 2, that is a 4. 2 into 3, this is a 6. And add it, that is a 12 cos of 3x minus 5 sin of 3x, bracket complete, into e raised to 2x. And therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to e raised to 2x in bracket. 12 cos of 3x minus 5 sin of 3x. Now the next example. Now see this x square into log of x. Y is equals to x square into log of x. Differentiate this with respect to x. What is the derivative of x square? Is it to x? Derivative of log of x is 1 upon x. You must know the derivative first of all. Then we can find out the second order derivative. Now dy by dx is equals to keep x square as it is. Derivative of log of x is 1 upon x plus log of x as it is into derivative of x square which is a 2x. And that's why dy by dx is equals to what is here? x square upon x, that will be x, plus 2x into log of x. And that's why dy by dx is equals to x common in bracket 1 plus 2 log of x. This is the first. Now, differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to. Now here we will apply the product rule. Now keep this x as it is. Derivative of 1 is 0 and derivative of this log of x is 1 upon x. Then it will come 2 upon x. See this. Plus 1 plus 2 log of x keep as it is and then derivative of x. The derivative of x is 1. See this now here. This is 1. Now the sim now we can simplify d2y by dx square is equals to. Now how it is simplified? This x into 2 upon x. x x get cancelled and you are getting the 2. Plus in bracket 1 plus 2 log x. This, now this is 1 and this is 2. 1 plus 2 that will become 3. See this here. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to 3 plus 2 log x. Now, see this again. That is x square log x, y is equals to x square into log x. Differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to x square. What is the derivative of log of x? Is 1 upon x plus log of x into derivative of x square which is 2x. Again dy by dx is equals to 
this x square upon x that is x plus 2x log x. Take x as a common. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to x in bracket 1 plus 2 log x. Again, now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to x into derivative of 1 plus 2 log x. Derivative of this 1 is 0 and 2 log of x. Derivative of log of x is 1 upon x. That is a 2 into 1 upon x. Bracket complete plus 1 plus 2 log x into derivative of this x which is 1. And now simplify this. Then you will get x into 2 upon x. This x x get cancelled. You will get 2 plus 1 plus 2 log x. Now this 1 plus 2 that is a 3. Therefore d2y by dx square is equals to 3 plus 2 log x. And hence d2y by dx square is equals to 3 plus 2 log x. This is the answer. Now the next is. Sine of log x. Let y is equals to sine of log x. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to cos of log x. Now this is composite function. First, the derivative of sine is cos, cos of log x, and then derivative of log of x, which is one upon x. It is here. derivative of log of x. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to cos of log x into 1 upon x. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to cos of log x upon x. Now, differentiate this with respect to x again. Now, this is u upon v. Therefore, here we will apply the quotient rule. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to cos of log x upon x. That is equals to x into ddx of cos of log x minus ddx of that is the cos of log x into ddx of x upon x square. Now, what is the derivative of again cos of log x? The derivative of cos of log x is minus sine of log x into derivative of log of x which is 1 upon x. Next is minus cos of log x into derivative of x is 1 upon x square and then we will simplify it. That is the minus sine of log x into derivative of log of x is 1 upon x minus cos of log x into derivative of x is 1 upon x square. Now this xx will get cancelled minus sine of log x minus cos of log x upon x square. And that's why you will get the simplified answer. That is a d2y by dx square is equals to. If we take the minus sign that is a minus sine of log x plus cos of log x upon x square. This is the d2y by dx square. Now see this again here. y is equals to sine of log x. Differentiate this with respect to dy by dx is equals to cos of log x into derivative of log of x, which is 1 upon x. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to cos of log x upon x. Now differentiate this again with respect to x. Therefore, you will get d2y by dx square is equals to ddx of cos of log x upon x. Now, apply here the quotient to that is x into ddx of cos of log x minus cos of log x into derivative of x which is 1 upon x square. Now, derivative of cos of log x is a minus sine of log x into derivative of log of x is 1 upon x minus cos of log x into derivative of x x is 1 upon x square. And now simplify this, that is x into this 1 upon x. This x will get cancelled. And then you will get minus sine of log x. 
minus cos of log x upon x square. Take minus sign as a common. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to minus sin of log x plus cos of log x upon x square. Now, the next example. Find d2y by dx square. If x is equal to cos inverse in root of one minus in root of one minus t square upon t and y is equal to cosec inverse in bracket 1 plus t square upon 2t. Now see this here. x is equal to cos inverse in root of 1 minus t square upon t. Now you, you, here we have the substitution that is a t is equal to sin theta. Then in, in bracket you will get 1 minus sin square theta which is the cos theta. Theta is equals to sin inverse of t. Therefore, x is equals to cos inverse in root of 1 minus sin square theta upon sin theta. Therefore, cot inverse of that is a cos theta in root of see this again here in root of 1 minus sin square theta, which is cos square theta. Square and root get cancelled, you will get cos theta. This is the not cos that I was therefore here is a cot cot inverse of cos of theta upon sin theta and overall you will get cot cot theta therefore cot inverse of cot theta that is equals to theta therefore x is equals to we know that sin inverse of t now differentiate this with respect to Therefore, dx upon dt is equals to, you must know the derivative of inverse, all the inverse trigonometry function. What is that? 1 upon in root of 1 minus t square. Therefore, this is the first. y is equals to cosec inverse. 1 plus t square upon 2t. Now this can be converted into that is the cosec inverse of 1 upon x is the sine inverse of x. Therefore it is convert, we can convert it. It's a reciprocal is a sine. Therefore sine inverse of 2t upon 1 plus t square. Now put x t is equals to tan theta. And 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta is the sine of 2 tan theta. Therefore, t is equals to tan inverse of t. Therefore, y is equals to sin inverse of 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. And therefore, you will get in bracket y is equals to sin inverse of sin of 2 times theta. And that is equals to 2 theta. But what is a theta? Theta is a tan inverse of t. Now, differentiate this with respect to t. Therefore, dy by dt is equals to 2 upon 1 plus t square. Here is a second. Now, where this is very interesting for the higher order derivative of this type of the function. dy by dx is equals to dy by dt upon dx upon dt. And that's the you are getting 2 upon 1 plus t square upon in root of one minus t square. Now simplify this. That is a two in root of one minus t square upon one plus t square. 
Now multiply and reciprocal. That will become 2 root of 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square. Now the next is, this is the dy by dx. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to 2 in root of 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square. Now again differentiate this with respect to x. That is a ddt of, now here, see this here, we are applying the chain rule here. That is a d2y by dx square. But what is the dy by dx? But dy by dx is a 2 in root of 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square. Therefore, we are applying here the chain rule. This is the function of the order. Therefore, we are differentiating this d d t of 2 in root of 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square into d t upon d x every time this by using the chain rule. Now differentiate this. Here we will apply the quotient two. That is 2 in bracket 1 plus t square into d d t of d t t of in root of 1 minus t square minus in root of 1 minus t square into d d t of 1 plus t square upon 1 plus t square bracket square. This is. Now again what is the derivative of in root of 1 minus t square? That is a 1 upon 2 times in root of 1 minus t square into del again derivative of 1 minus t square. And next is 1 plus t square. It is a derivative simple. 1 is 0 and t square is a 2t. Now, see this, how it is simplified. Into d d t of d t upon d x. We have find out the d t upon d x. Its a value is in root of 1 minus t square. That is a 2. 1 plus t square into d d t of, that is a, it is a derivative. That is a 1 upon 2 times in root of 1 minus t square into derivative of 1 minus t square is a minus 2t minus in root of 1 minus t square into derivative of 1 plus t square. 1 is 0 and t square is a 2t and that's why you are getting that is a minus 2t 1 plus t square upon in root of upon 2 times in root of 1 minus t square minus 2t into 1 minus t square this whole divided by 1 plus t square bracket square into in root of 1 minus t square that is equals to 2 in bracket now what is happening here this 2 2 will get cancelled then you will get minus t into 1 plus t square upon the root of t square. And then simplify this. Taking the LCM, you will get the answer. This 2 to get cancelled, not t. That is a minus t into 1 plus t square upon in root of 1 minus t square minus 2t in root of 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square bracket square into in root of 1 minus t square. Now simplify this. That is minus t in bracket 1 plus t square minus 2t in root of 1 minus t square. Uh, if we simplify this root root get cancelled that is root of 1 minus t square into root of 1 minus t square then this root root get cancelled you will get 1 minus t square that is a minus 2t in bracket 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square into 1 plus t square bracket square into in root of 
least 1 minus d square. Then whole bracket complete into root of 1 minus d square and then again root of 1 minus d square will get cancelled. See this here. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to, now simplify this. d2y by dx square is equals to, first that number get cancelled, 2 into minus t, minus t cube, minus 2t plus 2t cube upon 1 plus t square bracket square. This is simplification. Now next is 2 into t cube. That is here is a 2t cube minus t cube. Then you will get t cube. Minus 2t minus t minus 3t. upon 1 plus t square and bracket raised to 2. This is a d2y by dx square. 2 in bracket. Take t as a common then in bracket t square minus 3 upon 1 plus t square bracket square. Let's see this again here. If you want to write them. This is a very Big problem. You can write down now. This is not a cos, it's a cot. By mistake, it is written. This is dy by dx. Now again differentiate this with respect to x. And this is a chain rule. d dt of this quantity into dt upon dx. This is the important concept. And this type of example we apply the chain rule. These are the number of examples. This higher order derivative is a very tough topic. You have to do the practice and practice, then you will understand this. There is normal simplification. I had explained all this. Now the next is. If x is equals to a cos cube theta y is equals to b sin cube theta at theta is equals to pi by 4 now x is equals to a cos cube theta y is equals to b sin cube theta. Now differentiate this with respect to theta. Therefore, dx upon d theta is, what is the derivative of cos cube? That is a 3a cos square theta into derivative of cos theta which is minus sin theta in a same manner 
dy by d theta that is a 3 d sin square theta into derivative of sin theta which is cos theta now see this therefore from 1 and 2 dy by dx is equals to dy by d theta upon dx upon d theta that is a 3b sin square theta into cos theta upon 3a cos square theta into sin theta that is minus sin therefore dy by you can write down now here 3b sin square theta into cos theta upon minus 3a cos square theta into sin theta now what terms will be cancelled here cos cos get cancelled one sign will get cancelled then you will get sin theta upon cos theta which is cot theta Therefore, dy by dx is equals to minus b upon a tan theta. Now, differentiate this again with respect to x. Then you will get d2y by dx square. D dx of dy by dx is equals to minus b upon a d dx of tan of theta. Now, again here we will apply the chain rule minus b upon a is a theta. Therefore, it is a dd theta of the tan theta into d theta upon dx. dd theta of tan theta into d theta upon dx. By mistake, it is not theta, but this is x. Derivative of tan theta is a sex square theta and d theta upon dx. Therefore, Substitute the value that is nothing but 1 upon dx upon d theta and we have calculated this value minus b upon a sex square theta 1 upon minus 3a cos square theta into sin theta. Now simplify this. That is the d2y by dx square is equal to minus b. This minus minus will become plus that is a b upon 3a square sex square theta upon cos square theta into sin theta. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to b sec raised to 4 theta upon 3a square into sin theta. This is d2y by dx square. dx square. at theta is equals to 5 by 4. Now, sec of 5 by 4 is a root 2. The sign of 5 by 4 is 1 by root 2. Then we will simplify this. Sec raised to 4 pi by 4. Sign of 5 by 4. What is the value of that is a b upon 3a square into root 2 brackets raised to 4. 1 upon root 2, that is a b upon 3a square. If you simplify it, then you are getting how this is. That is, this is multiplied and reciprocal. It becomes root 2 here. And root 2 raised to 4, that is root 2 into root 2 into root 2 into root 2. That is root 2 into root 2, two. another root 2 into root 2 is 2, 2 into root 4. Therefore, it is a 4 root 2 b upon 3a square. Therefore, d2y by dx square at theta is equal to 5 by 4. This is a 4 root 2 b upon 3a square. If you want to write down from the board, you can write down this. I will scroll down.
this is the answer next is if ax square plus 2hxy plus dy square is equal to 0 then show that d2y by dx square is equal to 0 also this is a very famous problem number of attempts asked in the board exam given that ax square plus 2hxy plus dy square is equal to 0 now how this problem is simplified that is very important ax square plus 2hxy plus dy square is equal to 0 how written it is written as 2hxy 2hxy this is a trick to solve this type of examples you have to remember this number of the time that ax square plus hxy plus hxy plus dy square that is equals to 0 what about next from first two terms take the x as a common then in bracket you will get x in bracket ax plus hy from these two terms you take the y common then in bracket you will get hx plus dy that is equals to 0 therefore y in bracket hx plus dy is equals to minus x in bracket ax plus hy therefore y upon x is equals to minus ax plus dy upon hx plus dy Now differentiate this with respect to x. That is the first expression. Differentiate first equation which is x square plus 2xxy plus dy square is equal to 0. What is that? That is nothing but the joint equation of pair of two straight line passes through the origin that we will learn in the M1 that is the ddx of x square plus 2h in bracket ddx of x1 plus b into ddx of y square and that is equals to 0. Now what is the derivative of x square? This is the derivative of x square is a 2x that is a 2ax plus 2h. What is the derivative of x1? Derivative of x is 1 into 1 plus x into derivative of y is a dy by dx and derivative of y square is a 2y into dy by dx. That is a 2ax plus 2h in bracket x into dy by dx plus 1 into y plus b into 2y into dy by dx. That is ax plus 2hx into dy by dx plus 2hy and last is 2by into dy by dx. If we take the 2 as a common then in bracket ax plus hx into dy by dx plus hy plus b y into dy by dx that is equals to 0. Again take hx plus by into dy by dx is equals to minus ax plus hy. This is the term. These two terms are here and other than dy by dx which are h ax plus hy on this side. Therefore you will get dy by dx is equal to minus ax plus hy upon hx plus dy. Now differentiate this again with respect to by using that expression we have find out the value of ax plus hy upon hx plus dy. That is nothing but minus which was minus sign and then my, this minus minus will become plus. That was dy by dx is equal to y upon x. Now differentiate this with us, differentiate this third with respect to x. D, ddx of dy by dx that is equal to ddx of 
y upon x. And apply here that is the d2 y by dx square is equals to x into dy by dx minus y into derivative of x is 1 upon x square. Now simplify this d2y by dx square. This is x. What is the value of dy by dx? The value of dy by dx is y upon x. We have substituted the value of dy by dx which is y upon x. This x x it cancel y minus y that is 0. 0 upon x which is 0. Therefore d2y by dx square that's equal to 0. Y minus one. This is that what we want to put. Now the next, I will summarize again this problem. You can write. And hence d2y by dx square that is equals to 0 and it is a proof. After explanation of that examples, I will show what is written on the board. Let's see the next example. If y is equals to cos of in bracket m cos inverse of x. Then show that. Now this type of the given examples. Then show that in bracket 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square minus x into dy by dx plus m square y is equals to 0. Now this we have given that. We have given that y is equal to cos in bracket m cos inverse of x. Therefore, cos inverse of y is equal to m cos inverse of x. These are different types of the tricks to solve these examples. Now, differentiate this with respect to x. ddx of cos inverse of y is equal to m ddx of cos inverse of x. Now what is the derivative of cos inverse of y? That is the minus 1 upon in root of 1 minus y square into derivative of y is a dy by dx is equal to derivative of cos inverse of x that is a minus m upon in root of 1 minus x square. Therefore, it 
that minus minus will become plus in root of 1 minus x square into dy by dx is equals to m in root of 1 minus y square. Now squaring on both sides. Therefore, you will get 1 minus x square into d2y by d, dy by dx bracket square is equals to m square in root that is 1 minus y square. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, 1 minus x square and the derivative of dy by dx bracket square is here we will apply the product rule plus dy by dx bracket square into d dx of into d dx of into d dx of 1 minus x square is equals to m square d dx of 1 minus y square. Now here is a 1 minus x square derivative of dy by dx bracket square. It's a derivative is a 2 into dy by dx. Again the derivative of dy by dx. It's a d2y by dx square plus dy by dx bracket square into derivative of 1 minus x square. Derivative of 1 is 0 and x square is a minus 2x. On the other side, m square, derivative of 1 minus y square, derivative of 1 is 0 and y square is a minus 2y into derivative of y is a dy by dx. Now see this all. One minus x square, two dy by dx, d two y by dx square, minus two x dy by dx bracket square, m square y minus two into dy by dx. Now this is the common term. Is that two into dy by dx, two into dy by dx is also present, and two dy by dx. If we divide on both sides, two into dy by dx, then you will get. cancel it then you are getting 1 minus x square 2 dy by dx get cancelled you are getting the d2y by dx square again here 2 get cancelled 1 dy by dx get cancelled 1 will remain then you will get minus x into dy by dx again 2 dy by dx get cancelled and you will get minus y m square One minus x square into d two y by d x square minus x d y by d x. Now see this again here. I will summarize this problem. This is important step, squaring on both sides and again differentiate. Apply the product rule. And there is one more important step that is a dividing on both sides by 2 into dy by dx. And then we get the final answer that is 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square minus x into dy by dx plus m square y is equals to 0. Next is If x is equal to, see this problem, x is equal to sin t 
and y is equals to a raised to mt, then show that 1 minus x square into d2 y by dx square minus x into dy by dx minus m square y is equals to 0. Again, these are the parametric functions. First, we will find out dx upon dt, dy upon dt. Then find dy by dx. x is equals to sin t. Therefore, t is equals to sin inverse of x. y is equals to e raised to mt. That is y is equals to e raised to m sin inverse of x. Now differentiate with respect to x. What is that? y is a function of x. That is y is equals to e raised to m sin inverse of x. Now differentiate this with respect to x. What is the derivative of e raised to m sin inverse of x? e raised to sin m inverse of x is e raised to m sin inverse of x into d dx of m sin inverse of x. Say this here. That is dy by dx is equals to d dx of e raised to e raised to m sin inverse of x. That is e raised to m sin inverse of x m into d dx of sin inverse of x. What is the derivative of sin inverse of x? That is 1 upon in root of 1 minus x square m e raised to sin inverse of x. dy by dx is equals to m e raised to m sin inverse of x upon in root of 1 minus x square. Now simplify this. That is in root of 1 minus x square into dy by dx is equals to m into e raised to m sin inverse of x. And what is the value of the e raised to m sin inverse of x? That is y. Now squaring on both sides. It is root of 1 minus square is here. And the value of e raised to m sin inverse of x is y. Squaring on both sides, then you will get 1 minus x square into dy by dx bracket square is equals to m square y square. Now differentiate this again with respect to x. Apply the product rule to the left hand side. 1 minus x square as it is and d dx of dy by dx bracket square plus 1 dy by dx bracket square into d dx of 1 minus x square is equals to m square and derivative of d dx of y square that is a 1 minus x square what is the d dx of dy by dx bracket square is a 2 times dy by dx into derivative of dy by dx which is a d2y by dx square this is important this is the derivative of power that becomes 2 dy by dx. Again, the derivative of dy by dx, which is d2y by dx square, plus dy by dx bracket square as it is, and derivative of 1 minus x square. Derivative of 1 is 0, and derivative of x square is a minus 2x. Again, the derivative of y square, which is 2y into dy by dx. That is the dy by dx bracket square into derivative of 1 minus x square which is the minus 2x is equals to m square derivative of y square is a 2y into dy by dx again if you see this there is one common term that is a 2 into dy by dx That is 1 minus x square in bracket 2 into dy by dx into d2y by dx square minus x into 2 into dy by dx 
into 1 dy by dx is equals to m square into y 2 dy by dx. 2 dy by dx, 2 dy by dx, 2 dy by dx, all get cancelled. Then you will get One minus x square into d two y by d x square minus x into d y by d x is equals to m square one. That is one minus x square into d two y by d x square minus x d y by d x minus m square y is equals to zero. And these are the second derivatives. This is the explanation for the second order derivative. Again, you if you want to write down from the board, you can write down this. And this is answer. Now the next is successive differentiation. Or nth order derivative of some standard functions. Successive differentiation. Is the process of differentiating a given function successively or n times and the result of such differentiation are called successive derivative. Now the illustrative examples. Find the nth derivative of the following. First is x raised to n. Y is equal to x raised to n. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to m x raised to m minus 1. Yeah. 
this is again differentiate with respect to x then you will get m into d dx of x raised to m minus 1 therefore d2y by dx square is equals to m into m minus 1 into x raised to m minus 2 again differentiate with respect to x therefore d3y by dx cube is equals to m into m minus 1 into m minus 2 into x raised to m minus 3 Therefore, in general, the nth order derivative will be nth order derivative will be. Now, see this here. This is the third order derivative. Here is a 2 and here is a 3. There is 1 less than this power, this 3. Therefore, Nth order is m into m minus 1, m minus 2, dash dash, m minus in bracket n minus 1, bracket raised to n, m, x raised to m minus n. This is n. Its power is reduced by 1, it is n minus 1. In the same way, there, here is a 3, it is reduced by 1, it is a minus 2. Therefore, dn y upon dx raised to n is equal to n into m minus 1 into m minus 2 dash dash in bracket m minus n minus 1 in bracket n minus 1 bracket complete into x raised to m minus n. Therefore, dn y by dx raised to m is equal to m into m minus 1 into m minus 2 and the last is m minus n plus 1 x raised to m minus n. Now in this case we will consider the two cases. If m is a greater than m, m is a greater than 0 and m is a greater than m, then what will happen? Therefore, dNy upon dx raised to n is equal to m into m minus 1, like all these terms, That is in this case we are multiplied in numerator and the denominator. The one more term is that m minus 1 dash 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 up to 2 into 1. This is that term. m minus n, m minus n minus m minus n minus 1 up to dash 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 2 into 1. These two terms are same terms. That's we are multiplied. Okay. Now see this again here. That is here we are multiplying this term. This is the common term we are multiplying here. Okay. We are multiplying here to the numerator and the denominator. Now next see this. Therefore, and this is nothing but m factorial into x raised to m minus n upon m minus n factorial. This is the case one when m is a greater than n. If m is greater than n and m is equal to n, then it's the nth derivative. If m is greater than n and m is equal to n, then d n y upon dx raised to n is equal to n factorial into x raised to m minus n upon n minus. If m is greater than 
0 and m is equals to n then dny upon dx raised to n is equals to n factorial into x raised to m minus n upon n minus n factorial and that is nothing but that is a 0 x raised to 0 1 0 factorial is a 1 and that is equals to n factorial. And now in third case, if m is a greater than n and m is a less than n, then dny upon dx raised to n is equal to 0. If the power is less than n, then its derivative will become 0. Now you can see this also here. It's n to the derivative. Actually, this is a very bit, it doesn't ask in examination, but you must know what are the results. Second, y is equals to 1 upon ax plus b, differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to minus 1 upon ax plus b bracket square into d dx of ax plus b. What is the derivative of 1 upon x? The derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x square into d dx of x is 1. In the same way, minus 1 upon ax plus b bracket square into d dx of ax plus b. What is the derivative of ax? ax is a. Therefore, minus a upon ax plus b bracket square. Therefore, it is a dy by dx is equals to minus 1 into a ax plus b bracket square. Now, differentiate this with respect to again x. Therefore, d dx of dy by dx is equals to minus 1 into a into d dx of 1 upon ax plus b bracket square. Now here is a minus 2. How that minus 2 comes here? Now here is a 1 upon ax plus b bracket square. It will become ax plus b bracket as to minus 2. That minus 2 is here. Now this minus 2 minus 1. Then it will become ax plus b bracket as to 3. I forget to write it power as a 3. That is ax plus b bracket raised to 3. Therefore, Minus 1 raised to 2, 2 into 1 a square, ax plus b bracket raised to 3. Differentiate this with respect to x. Then ddx of d2y by dx square is equals to minus 1 raised to 2 into 2 into 1 a square into ddx of 1 upon ax plus b bracket raised to 3. Minus 1 raised to 2 into 2 into 1 into a square minus 3 ax plus b bracket raised to 4 into ddx of ax plus b. That is minus 1 raised to 3, 3 into 2 into 1 a raised to 3 upon ax plus b bracket raised to 4. Therefore, in general,
the nth order derivative will be dn y upon dx raised to n is equal to minus 1 raised to n into n factorial into n n minus 1 as dash 2 into 1 into a raised to n upon a is plus b bracket raised to n plus 1. And this is nothing but dn y upon dx raised to n is equal to minus 1 raised to n into n factorial into a raised to n upon a x plus b bracket raised to n plus 1. Also, you can see this here and write down. This is the final answer. Now we will see this next problem. Y is equals to log of x. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Derivative of log of x is 1 upon x. Divide by dx is equals to 1 upon x. Now differentiate again with respect to x. d2 y by dx will is a minus 1 upon x square. Again differentiate this with respect to x. And it is written as like this minus 1 raised to n upon x square d3y by dx cube is equal to minus 1 into ddx of 1 upon x square that is minus 1 into minus 2 upon x cube. Therefore, it is written as minus 1 raised to 2, 1 into 2 upon x cube. Therefore, in general, the nth order derivative, these are the tough generalized questions common student want to understand, then he, if you want understand to them, they want to do more and more practice. Therefore, dNy upon dx raised to n is equals to minus 1 raised to minus 1 raised to n minus 1 into n minus 1 factorial upon x raised to n. See this again y is equals to log of x, 1 upon x. How it is generalized, that is very important. Now it is a negative sign. Therefore, minus 1 is to 1 upon x square. What about the next? Next will be again the minus 2. That is minus 1. And then minus 1, minus 1 become plus. Minus, this minus and minus will become plus. Therefore, he take the minus sign as it other, that is a minus 1. In terms of the plus and minus are in terms of the minus sign. Minus 1 is 2 that power and their constant which is 1, 2, 3, they will be natural. Is there any relationship there is this power and this constant and this power? Yes, there is a relationship. What is that? Minus 1 raised to the power of this x is 3 and here is a 2. That is minus 1 raised to n minus 1 and this is extended up to 1 dot 2. Therefore, now this is the power 3. It is extended up to 1, 2. When it is a power x raised to n, then it is extended up to 1 dot 2 dot 3 dot 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 that is a n minus 1. Therefore, minus 1 raised to n minus 1, 1 dot 2 dot 3 dot up to the n minus 1. And this is nothing but the n minus 1 factorial. Therefore, dny upon dx raised to n is equals to minus 1 raised to n minus 1 into n minus 1 factorial upon x raised to n. 
can see this here. Y is equals to sin x. Now differentiate this with respect to x. ddx of sin x, which is cos x. Therefore, dy by dx, the derivative of sin x is cos x. Now, again, this cos x can be converted into terms of the sin. Very interesting. That is the dy by dx is equals to, that is the cos theta is equals to sin of 90 plus theta. Pi by 2 plus x. Again, differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to ddx of sin of pi by 2 minus x. And this is the cos of pi by 2 plus x into derivative of pi by 2 plus x. That is x derivative of x is 5. Again, this cos can be converted into the sine. That is sine of pi by 2 plus x plus pi by 2. That is the d2y by dx square is equals to 2 into pi by 2 plus x. Again differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore d3y upon dx cube is equals to ddx of sine of 2 pi by 2 plus x and its derivative is cos of 2 pi by 2 plus x into derivative of x is 1. Again, this can be converted into the sine by adding the 1 pi by 2, that is a 2 pi by 2, that is a sine of 2 pi by 2 plus pi by 2 plus x, that is a sine of 3 pi by 2 plus x, and that's why in general. This was a third, therefore it is a third term. In general, nth order derivative will be d and y upon dx raised to n is equals to sine of n pi by 2 plus x. Now see this again. How it is written. This is the first dy by dx cos x it is converted into sine by adding 1 pi by 2. Now here is the order of derivative is 1. This is a 1, 1 into pi by 2. When it is a second by adjusting the pi by 2 then it is a again d2y by dx square is equals to 2 upon pi by 2 plus x. When it is a th third power then it is a d3y by dx cube that is a sine of 3 pi by 2 plus x where it is a 3 and here is a 3. Therefore, in general, d and y upon dx raised to n is equal to sine of n pi by 2 plus x. And in this way, therefore, in general, its a nth order derivative is written as d and y upon dx raised to n is equal to sine of n pi by 2 plus x. We will see the next example. y is equal to cos of ax plus b. Now it's the first derivative. Differentiate this with respect to x. That is the dy by dx is equal to cos of derivative of cos of ax plus b. What's its a derivative? That is the minus sine of ax plus b into derivative of ax plus b is a. This is the dy by dx. Now next, here is a sign. Again, we will add here that is a pi by 2. That is the cos of pi by 2 plus ax plus b. Therefore, it will become like this. It will become the second quadrant that will be minus. Now, differentiate this with respect to x. That is the d2y by dx square is equals to minus ddx of sine of pi by 2 plus ax plus b. ddx of a cos of pi by 2 plus ax plus b. That is equals to 
a into dx of cos of pi by 2 plus a x plus 3. That is it. It's a derivative is a derivative of cos is minus sine pi by 2 plus a x plus b into derivative of a x plus b. That is a pi by 2 plus a x plus b. That is a a. Again, this sign can be converted into the cos by adding 1 pi by 2. That is a, a cos of pi by 2 plus pi by 2 plus a x plus b into dx of that quantity. That is a, a pi by 2 plus pi by 2 plus a x plus b. That is a, a. Now, here is a 2 pi by 2 plus a x plus b into a square. This is second order. This generalization is important. Now, when we differentiate this second time, then a raised to 2. That is a 2 is a multiplied by pi by 2 plus ax plus b. Then what will be the third? That is the d3y by dx cube is equals to a raised to 3 cos of 3 pi by 2 plus ax plus b. And hence in general, dny upon dx raised to n can be written as a raised to n cos of n pi by 2 plus ax plus b. Hence, now see this here. Differentiate this with respect to x d3y by dx cube is equals to d dx of in bracket a square cos of 2 pi by 2 plus ax plus b. Therefore, it's a derivative is a minus sine of 2 pi by 2 plus ax plus b into derivative of that ax plus b is a that is a cube. Again, this sign can be converted into cos by adding 1 pi by 2, that is a 3 pi by 2. Therefore, d3y by dx cube is equals to, this is the power 3, power 3, 3, multiplied by 3. And that's why, in general, it is written as, dx raised dny upon dx raised to n is equals to a raised to n cos of n pi by 2 plus ax plus b. Again, you can see this. These are the general derivative. When this exercise is very, very important, in this exercise, all the exercises are contained here. Those students who will be the master of this exercise, then he will know what is the total derivative in the 12th standard. Now y is equals to, I will show you the board, you can write down. Number of the students say that, sir, teach on the board. But other than the board, I can give you all the examples, full explanation here. Now I am trying to teach on board also. If I purchase that digital board, then I will show you how it is teaching on the board. Next is sixth one y is equals to a into a raised to x sine of bx plus c. Very interesting problem. And this is the biggest problem of this exercise. That is a dy by dx is equals to ddx of e raised to x sine of bx plus c. Now here we will apply the product rule first of all. That is the ddx of what is the derivative of sine of bx plus c is the cos of bx plus c into ddx of bx plus c plus sine of bx plus c into derivative of e raised to x. What is the derivative of e raised to x? Derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x into derivative of e raised to x is a. That is e raised to x take common, then in bracket you will get b cos of bx plus c a sine of bx plus c. Now in the next step, we have to assume some things. That is a e raised to x in root of, that is we are multiplying 
and dividing by in root of a square plus b square. Now e raised to x in root of a square plus b square upon that is in bracket. In bracket, you will get b upon in root of a square plus b square cos of bx plus c plus a upon in root of a square plus b square sin of bx plus c. That is e raised to x Now let here b upon in root of a square plus b square is equals to sin alpha. We have solved this type of examples in the previous exercise number 3. That is a upon in root of a square plus b square that is equals to cos of alpha. And therefore this whole term can be written as dy by dx is equals to e is to x in root of a square plus b square and in bracket sin alpha into cos of bx plus c plus sin of bx plus c into cos alpha. Therefore, e raised to x in root of a square plus b square. This is the expansion of sin of alpha plus bx plus c, that is bx plus c plus alpha. Now differentiate this with respect to x. E raised to x in bracket a square plus b square is to 1 upon 2 sin of bx plus c plus r. Now differentiate this with respect to x. That is the ddx of dy by dx is equals to ddx of e raised to x in bracket a square plus b square, in bracket is 1 upon 2, sin of bx plus c, apply the product rule, that is a square plus b square is 1 upon 2, we will apply the product rule to which term, that is e raised to x and the sin of bx plus c, keep this e raised to x as it is and derivative of sin of bx plus c. That is the ddx of sin of bx plus c plus sin of bx plus c plus alpha into ddx of e raised to x. And that is a square plus b square bracket is to 1 upon 2 e raised to x. What is the derivative of sin of bx plus c? The cos of bx plus c plus alpha into ddx of bx plus c plus alpha is b plus sin of bx plus c plus alpha into derivative of e raised to x. Derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x into ddx of x. Now overall we will take the common e raised to x. e raised to x in bracket a square plus b square is to 1 upon 2. And in bracket you are getting b into cos of bx plus c plus alpha a into sin of bx plus c plus alpha bracket complete. e raised to x into a square plus b square raised to 1 upon 2. Two. And again, we are multiplying to the numerator and the denominator one more term that is the root of in root of a square plus b square. Now, here is the root of n to add by this. And next time again, you are getting another alpha that will become alpha plus alpha that is a 2 alpha. And this is very interesting. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to e raised to x in bracket a square plus b square raised to two upon two. That is a 
1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 in bracket sin of alpha into cos of bx plus c plus alpha sin of bx plus c plus alpha into cos of alpha that is a d2 i by dx square is equals to e raised to x in bracket a square plus b square raised to 2 upon 2 and this is nothing but the expansion of sin of bx plus c plus alpha plus alpha that is a 2 alpha and therefore in general we can write similarly we can write d3y by dx cube is equal to e raised to x a square plus b square raised to 3 by 2 and sin of bx plus c plus 3 alpha this is important what is the order here there is a third order third order a is a 3 is a three. Therefore, in general, we can write dn y upon dx raised to n is equal to e raised to x in bracket a square plus b square raised to n upon 2 sine of bx plus c plus n alpha. d and y upon dx raised to n is equals to e raised to x in bracket a square plus b square raised to n upon 2 sine of bx plus c plus n alpha where alpha is equals to tan inverse of b upon a and now we'll start the exercise 1.5 this is the last exercise now we'll start the exercise 1.5 Question number one, find the second order derivative of the following. First, 2x raised to 5 minus 4x cubed minus 2 upon x square minus 9. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, that is a 2 into x raised to minus 2 dy by dx is equals to 10 minus 12 x square minus 2 into minus 2 and x raised to minus 3 and that derivative of constant is 0. What is the derivative of x raised to minus 2? This is a minus 2 into minus 2. That is a 2 into minus 2 that will become minus 4 and x raised to minus 3 derivative of constant is 0 and that is why it is a derivative d is 4x raised to 4 minus 12x to the minus minus will become plus x raised to minus 3. Now the second derivative, this is the, that is a 10 into, 10 into 4 into x raised to 3 minus 12 into 2x minus, in bracket minus 4 into minus 3 x raised to minus 4. Therefore, dy by dx, d2y by dx square is equals to 40x cube minus 24x minus, minus minus will become plus and again minus will be there. That is the minus sign must be there. Yes, okay. I will change now it. Therefore, the second order derivative is 40x cube minus 24x minus 12 upon x raised to minus 4. I have corrected it. Let's see this next example. Two. 
y is equals to e raised to 2x into tan theta. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, dy by applying the product rule, dy by dx is equals to e raised to 2x into dx of tan x plus tan of x into dx of e raised to 2x. Now, here is the derivative of e raised to, the derivative of tan of x is 6 square x and e raised to 2x is e raised to 2x into dx of 2x, which is 2. e raised to 2x into 6 square x plus 2 e raised to 2x into tan x. This is the dy by dx. Now we'll take the e raised to 2x as a common 6 square x plus tan x plus 2 times tan x. Now again differentiate this with respect to x. Differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore d2y by dx square is equals to e raised to 2x derivative of sec square x, that is the 2 times sec x into sec x into tan x. Now see this. What is the derivative of sec square x? Sec square is a 2 times sec x into derivative of sec x, which is sec x into tan x, plus 2 into derivative of tan x. What is the derivative of tan x? It is a sec square x, that is a plus 2 sec square x. Next is, sec square x plus 2 tan x into derivative of e raised to 2x. What is the derivative of e raised to 2x? e raised to 2x into derivative of 2x is 2. And that's why d2y by dx square is equals to e raised to 2x. Take overall e raised to 2x as a common. Then in bracket you will get 2 sec square x into tan x plus 2 sec square x plus 2 sec square x and 4 tan x. This is important. Their multiplication and take the common. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to e raised to 2x in bracket 4 tan x plus 2 sec square x into tan x plus 4 sec square x and this is the answer. Now again we will simplify this. What is the simplification? It doesn't matter that is a 2 plus tan x plus tan square x. Now from overall all of these we can take one as a common and in the next bracket that is a tan cube x plus tan square x plus 2 tan x. Take tan of x as a common then in bracket you will get tan square x plus tan x plus 2 in the second bracket. And again take this 2 plus tan x plus tan square x in one bracket and in second bracket 1 plus tan x remaining 1 and this tan x in one another bracket and remaining these are 2 plus tan x plus tan square x and therefore d 2y by dx square is equals to 2 e raised to 2x in bracket 1 plus tan x in another bracket 2 plus tan x plus tan square x. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to e raised to 2x in bracket 1 plus tan x in another bracket 2 plus tan x plus tan square x. Also, you can see these notes also on the board that is y is equals to e raised to 2x into tan of x dy by dx is equals to e raised to 2x ddx of tan x plus tan x into ddx of e raised to 2x derivative of tan is x square x and derivative of e raised to 2x is 
2 e raised to 2 x that is a delta 2 x raised to 2. Take e raised to 2 x as a common then in the next bracket differentiate this with respect to x. e raised to 2 x as it is derivative of sec square is a 2 sec x into derivative of sec x is sec x into tan x. Plus 2 derivative of tan that is a sec square x. In the next bracket sec square x plus 2 tan x as it is and derivative of e raised to 2 x which is e raised to 2 x into ddx of this 2 x is 2 and overall take the e raised to 2 x as a common and in the answer you are required in a specific form therefore we are arranging in that form that is the first 4 tan x plus 2 sec square x into tan x plus 4 sec square x and that's why first of all take 2 as a common then in bracket you are getting the terms are like this that is the 2 sec x and next is a sec square means what 1 plus tan square x this is a 1 plus tan square x into tan x plus 2 sec square x means what again 1 plus tan square x and simplify this all the terms that is 1 2 3 4 5 now in this all the terms the terms are written as 3 tan x 2 tan x plus tan x 3 tan x plus tan q plus 2 tan square x plus 2 and overall this is the tan cube x plus 2 tan square x plus 3 tan x plus 2 then what is here 2 plus tan x plus tan square x and what is the remaining 2 tan x is here tan cube and 1 tan square is here 1 is here now from first 3 terms you are taking 1 as common and from other 3 you are taking tan x as a common and that's why you are getting 1 plus tan x in first bracket and second bracket 2 plus tan x plus tan square x. This is the adjustment. I think that it is not necessary but they says that in the textbook the answer is in this form therefore we have to arrange. Is there any? That is we can arrange it. We have the knowledge of the algebra perfectly and the answer is like this. Now we see the next example. Number 3. E raised to 4x into cos of 5x. Now differentiate this with respect to x. That is e raised to 4x cos of 5x plus cos of 5x into derivative of e raised to 5x. What is the derivative of cos of 5x? Is a minus sine of 5x into derivative of 5x is 5 plus cos of 5x into derivative of e raised to 4x. e raised to 4x into derivative of 4x is 4. And overall again we will take the common as a e raised to 4x. And that's why in bracket you are getting minus 5 sine of 5x plus 4 cos of 5x bracket complete. Now again differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore d2y by dx square is equals to e raised to 4x in bracket derivative of sine of 5x is a cos of 5x into derivative of 5. x is 5. See this again and derivative of cos of 5x this is a 4 derivative of cos of 5x is a minus sine of 5x into derivative of 5x is 5 and that's why you are getting d2y by dx square is equals to e raised to 4x that's it now keep this term as it is that is the derivative of e raised to 4x is e raised to 4x into derivative of 4x is 4 also and minus 5 sin x sin 5x plus 4 cos of 5x as it is. Now take the term common e raised to 4x then in bracket you will get minus 25 cos of 5x minus 20 sin of 5x minus 5 sin of 5x plus that is if you multiply this 4 with this minus 5 it becomes minus 20 sin of 5x plus 16 cos of 5x.
therefore you are taking that is e raised to 4x in take the minus sign as common that is e minus e raised to 4x 9 plus cos of 5x plus 40 sin of 5x. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equal to minus e raised to 4x in bracket 9 cos of 5x plus 40 sin of 5x. See this again, this example. In the board, if you want to write down this, y is equal to e raised to 4x into cos of 5x. Apply the product rule. This is very simple. Derivative of cos is minus sin of 5x into 5. e raised to 4x. 4 into e raised to 4x. Take e raised to 4x as common. And that's why. Again differentiate with respect to x. e raised to 4x and derivative of sin of 5x is 5 cos of 5x. Cos of 5x is minus sin of 5x into 5. And overall. Next, derivative of e raised to 4x is 4 e raised to x and remaining all the terms are written. Take e raised to 4x as common and in the bracket you will get these terms. This is normal. I had explained it very accurately. Number of the students say that overall I want to see the example. That's why I am showing these examples and repeating again. I think that this is the last stage of the explanation. Now next is fourth one x cube log of x. Now differentiate this with respect to x, dy by dx is equal to x cube into derivative of log of x is 1 upon x plus 3x square into log of x that x square upon x that get cancelled x square plus 3x square into log of x. In the next step, we can take that is a x square as a common or you can differentiate directly. Therefore, derivative of x square is 2x and next is a derivative of this x square is a that is a 3 into 2 that is going to be the 6x and next is a 3x square into derivative of this log x is 1 upon x. Means the xx will get cancelled. You will get 3x plus 2x that will be 5x plus 6x for log of x. Now see this here d2y by dx square that is equals to 2x plus 6x log of x plus 3x and d2y by dx that is 5x plus 6x log of x and this I want to see that d2y by dx square is equals to 5x that is x common then 5 plus 6 log of x this I want to Therefore, d2y by dx square is equal to x in bracket 5 plus c log of x next fifth one log of log x y is equal to log of log x Differentiate this with respect to x. dy by dx is equal to 1 upon log x. Into derivative of log of x is 1 upon x. Now differentiate this. Log of log x, derivative of log of log x is 1 upon log x. Into derivative of log of x is 1 upon x. And again, d2y by dx square minus 1 upon x log of x bracket square into d dx of x into log of x that is the minus x log of x bracket square into 
ddx of x log x. What is the derivative of x is 1. Log of x plus x into log of x derivative is 1 upon x. This xx it cancel. And in bracket you are getting 1 plus log x. Therefore, d2i by dx square is equals to minus in bracket 1 plus log x bracket complete upon x log x bracket square. Now next is x raised to x. Very interesting and famous problem. Let's see this. But before that, I will show what I had written on the board. That I think that I have not shown this. x cube log of x. This was the fourth one. Differentiate this with respect to x. x cube log of x is 1 upon x. Derivative of x cube is 3x squared into log x x square upon x is x square and plus 3x square log of x. Now differentiate again this with respect to x. Derivative of x square is a 2x and 3x square into log x. Apply here the product rule. Derivative of x square is a 6x log of x plus 3x square into derivative of log of x is 1 upon x. And therefore d2i by dx square is equal to 2x plus 6x log of x. This x x get cancelled and you are getting this 3x. 3 plus 2 5. And this was the examples. It was the previous examples. And now just we have seen this. Y is equal to log of log x. Differentiate this with respect to x. Then dy by dx equals to 1 upon log of x into derivative of log of x is 1 upon x. Again differentiate this with respect to x. And the minus. What is the derivative of 1 upon x? And the derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x squared. And in the same way that is we have given here. That is the d2y by dx square is equals to minus 1 upon x log of x bracket square into ddx of x log x. And that's why there you it's a product to x log x. Derivative of x is 1 log of x plus x into derivative of log of x is 1 upon x. This xx it cancel, you are getting the 1 plus log x. And that is a minus 1 upon x log x bracket square in bracket 1 plus log x. And that's why this is answer d2y by dx square is equals to minus in bracket 1 plus log x upon x log of x bracket square. Now we will see the next example. That is a very famous example. It is also in the integration sensor. In derivative that is x raised to x. Now to find out the derivative of this. Take log on both sides. Forget to write e. Take log on both sides. That is the log of y is equals to x log of x. Now differentiate this with respect to x. What is the derivative of log of y is 1 upon y into dy by dx. Now apply here the product to x log of x. Derivative of x is 1 into log x plus x into derivative of log of x which is 1 upon x. Now see this here. That is x into 1 upon x plus 1 into log of x. x x yet cancel. You are getting 1 plus log of x. Therefore, now this dy by dx is equals to y in bracket 1 plus log x. Now substitute the value of y. What is the value of y? The value of y is x raised to x. But I will not write at the exam. Therefore d2y by dx square is equals to y into ddx of 1 plus log x plus 1 plus log x. What is the derivative of y is dy by dx. Very nice example. This I know the value of this dy by dx and substitute it. That is the value of the dy by dx is y into in bracket 1 plus log x. But what is the y? y is x raised to x. Now see this here. y in bracket ddx of 1 plus log x. Derivative of x is 1. Log of x is 1 upon x. Next bracket 1 plus log x. Substituting its value. That is x raised to x. Value of the dy by dx is stress in bracket 1 plus log x from 1. Now what is there? That is y. y upon x. Plus x raised to x in bracket 1 plus log x. Bracket square. Now here is a y upon x. But what is the y? y is x raised to x upon x. Plus x raised to x in bracket 1 plus log x bracket square. That is equals to x raised to x minus 1 plus x raised to x in bracket 1 plus log of x bracket square. And that's why this is your d2y by 
Now the second question number two. Also, see this. If you want to write down on the board, from the board, x raised to x. Take log on both sides. Log of y is equals to x log x. 1 upon y into dy by dx is equals to x into log of x. It's a derivative. 1 log of x. dy by dx is equals to y in bracket 1 plus log x. y is x raised to x. Again differentiate d2y by dx square is equals to y ddx of 1 plus log x plus 1 plus log x into derivative of y is dy by dx. Therefore, y ddx of 1 plus log x derivative of 1 is 0 log of x is 1 upon x. 1 plus log x as it is. What is the derivative of dy by dx? dy by dx is equals to x raised to x in bracket 1 plus log x. Therefore, 1 plus log x it will become bracket square x raised to x. But what is the y? y is x raised to x upon x. Therefore, it becomes x raised to x minus 1 plus x raised to x 1 plus log of x bracket square. Now the question number 2. Find d2y by dx square of the following. Now here we are applying the chain rule. Because these are the derivatives of the parametric function. x is equal to a in bracket theta minus sin theta. y is equal to a in bracket 1 minus cos theta. Now differentiate this. dx upon d theta is equal to a. Derivative of theta is 1. Sin theta is a cos theta. dy upon d theta a. Derivative of 1 is 0. And cos theta is a minus sin theta. Minus minus will become plus. And that's why you have this is. Therefore, dx upon d theta is equals to a in bracket 1 minus cos theta. And dy by d theta, is, d, d theta is equals to a sin theta. We want to find out dy by dx. Now, this dy by dx is equals to a dy by d theta upon dx upon d theta. But what is the dy by d a sin theta upon a in bracket 1 minus cos theta? This a get cancelled and you are getting dy by dx is equals to sin theta upon 1 minus cos theta. That is a sin theta means what? 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. 1 minus cos theta is a 2 sin square theta by 2. This 1 sin theta by 2 get cancelled and 2 2 get cancelled. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to cos of theta by 2 upon sin of theta by 2. And that is nothing but the cot of theta by 2. Now differentiate this again with respect to x. d2y by dx square is equal to. Now here we are applying the chain. d2y by dx square is equal to d d theta of cot square theta by 2. d dx of cot of theta by 2. And it is written as like this. d theta upon dx d d theta of cot of theta by 2 into d theta upon dx. But what is the derivative of cot of theta by 2? It's a minus cos x square theta by 2 into derivative of theta by 2 is 1 upon 2. Into d theta upon dx. We have find out this derivative. That is 1 upon a in bracket 1 minus cos theta. That is a minus 2 cos square theta by 2 upon 2a in bracket 1 minus cos theta means what 2 sin square theta by 2. Now what's happening here? That is 1 upon minus minus 1 upon 2a. This 2 2 will become 4. That is a minus 1 upon 4a. Cosec raised to 4 theta by 2 because we have to the denominator that is a sin square theta by 2 and to the numerator cos x square theta by 2. That is the principle of sin is a cos x square and that is why its a power becomes cos x plus 2 4. Therefore, see this here. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equal to minus 1 upon 4a cos x raised to 4 theta by 2. That is the concept. Now, 
if you want to write down this answer from the board you can write down this x is equals to a in bracket theta minus sin theta y is equals to a in bracket 1 minus cos theta differentiate this with respect to theta dx upon d theta is equals to a left of theta is 1 cos sin theta is cos theta a 1 is 0 cos theta is a minus sin theta it become plus dy by dx is equals to dy by d theta upon dx upon d theta a sin theta upon a in bracket 1 minus cos theta sin theta upon 1 minus cos theta it's written in this manner you are getting the cot of theta by 2 and again differentiate cot of theta by 2 apply the chain rule here this is very important d d theta cot of theta by 2 into d theta upon dx we substitute the value, value of the dx upon theta it's a reciprocal which is 1 upon a in bracket 1 minus cos theta and hence you have the answer minus 1 upon 4 a cosec raised to 4 theta by 2 this is the answer now the next problem problem number 2 x is equals to 280 square y is equals to 480 now differentiate this with respect to t. Therefore, dx upon dt is equals to 4at. dy upon dt is equals to 4a. Again, these are the parametric equations. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to dy by dx up, dt upon dx upon dt. There must be t real. That's a 4a upon 2at. This 4a, 4a get cancelled and you are getting the 1 upon t. Now again differentiate this with respect to with respect to x but d2y by dx square is equals to again we will write here what we will write here that is a d dt of 1 upon t into dt upon dx see this dx dt upon dx Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to minus 1 upon 4a d cube. This is the answer. Now, see this, I am explaining you again here. x is equals to 280 square, y is equals to 480. Write down this. Normal derivatives are there. If you have studied all the lectures 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1 and 1.4, then we, you will be the master of the derivative. Yes, like that. One upon t. Apply the chain rule. This is important. D D T of one upon t into d t upon t x, and that is a d two i by d x square is equals to minus one upon four a t q. Next is. x is equals to sin theta and y is equals to sin cube theta and theta is equals to pi by 2. Now differentiate this with respect to theta. dx upon d theta is a cos theta. dy upon d theta is a 3 sin square theta into derivative of sin theta is cos theta. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to dy upon d theta upon dx upon d theta. That is a 3 sin square theta into cos theta upon cos theta. This cos cos theta get cancelled. You are getting 3 sin square theta. Now, differentiate again with respect to x that is a d2y by dx square is equals to dd theta of 3 sin square theta into d theta upon dx now derivative of 3 sin square x that is a 3 into 2 is a power 
what is the derivative of sin square theta? It is a 2 sin theta into cos theta. Okay, and then subtract the value of d theta upon dx. This is here. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to 6 sin theta. At theta is equals to 5 by 4. That is a 6 into sine of 5 by 2. That is a 5 by 2 is 1. And hence d2y by dx square at theta is equals to 5 by 2. That is equals to x. You see this again here. Differential. Take the ratio dy by dx is equals to 3 sin square theta. Again, differentiate. Apply the chain rule d theta upon d theta upon dx. 3 into 2 sin theta plus theta plus plus get cancel. You are getting the 6 sin theta. At theta is equals to pi by 2. 6 into 1. That is equals to 6. And now next is. Fourth one x is equals to a cos theta, y is equals to b sin theta. Theta is equals to pi by 4. Now differentiate this with respect to theta. Therefore, dx upon d theta is equals to minus a sin theta, dy upon d theta is a b cos theta. Take the ratios dy upon d theta upon dx upon d theta. b cos theta upon minus a sin theta. That is the minus b upon a cos theta. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to minus b upon a cos theta. Again, differentiate this with respect to x. d2y by dx square is equals to minus b upon a derivative of cos theta which is minus cos x square theta into d theta upon dx. Substitute the value. Therefore, you will get minus b upon a minus cos x square theta d theta upon dx. Substitute the value. Minus 1 upon a sin theta. And that's why minus minus. I think that it is a 3 times minus or Last is minus, I have corrected it. Minus b upon a square cosec cube theta. That is, at theta is equals to pi by 4. That is a minus b upon a square cosec cube of pi by 4. It is a root 2 bracket restricted. That is root 2 into root 2 into root 2. That is a 2 root 2. And it's the answer is. That is minus, see this again, if you want to write down, just the fourth one, x is equals to a cos theta y is equals to d sin theta x theta is equals to pi by 4. The derivatives, same types of the problems are repeating all the types of, that is we are finding the second order derivative for the parametric function d2 i by d is equal to minus b upon a d theta of cot theta d theta upon dx cot derivative is a minus cos x square theta and d theta upon dx is minus 1 upon a sin theta and if the power becomes q theta is equals to pi by 4 that is the root 2 bracket q therefore it is a 2 root 2 q means what root 2 into root 2 3 times it becomes 2 root 2 and hence this is answer Now the next is question number 3. First, if x is equals to 80 square and y is equals to 
280 and show that. xy into d2y by dx square is plus a is equals to 0. Now first is x is equals to 80 square, y is equals to 280. Now differentiate this with respect to t. dx upon dt is equals to 280 dy upon dt is equals to 2a. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to dy by dt upon dx upon dt. That is equals to 2a upon 2a t. Now, this 2a 2a get cancelled. You are getting 1 upon a. One upon t, sorry. Again, differentiate this with respect to t. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to d dt of 1 upon t into dt upon dx. That is minus 1 upon t square into dt upon dx that is 1 upon 280. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to minus 1 upon 280 cube. Now, xy into d2y by dx square plus a is equals to. Now, we substitute the value. What is the value of x? x is 80 square. What is the y? y is a 280. And d2y by dx square is a minus 1 upon 80 q plus a. Now we have t square into t. That is a t cube get cancelled. 2a square minus 2a square. Overall that will be a minus a minus n plus a it will become 0. Hence xy into d2y by dx square plus a is equals to 0. Hence, proof. See this again. Second example. First, that is x is equals to 80 square y is equals to 80. xy into d2y by d square plus a is equals to 0. x is equals to 80 square y is equals to 80. Parametric of the parabola dx upon dt is equals to 280, dy upon dt is equals to 280 and that's why dy by dx is equals to dy by dt upon dx upon dt. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to 2a upon 280 and dy by dx is equals to 1 upon 2. Now, differentiate again with respect to x. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to d dt of 1 upon t into dt upon dx and that is minus 1 upon t square into 1 upon 280. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to minus 1 upon 280q. Now, substitute the value. What we have given? xy into d2y by dx square plus a. What's the value of x? x is 80 square. y is equals to 280. d2y by dx square is a minus 1 upon 280q. And plus a. We cancel it. You are getting the minus a plus a. That is equals to 0. And hence, x is a proof. Now, the next example. Number 2, if y is equals to e raised to m sin inverse e raised to tan inverse of x, then show that 1 plus x square into d2y by dx square. plus 2x minus m into dy by dx is equals to 0. That is y is equals to e raised to m tan inverse of x. Therefore, differentiate this with respect to x. dy by dx is equals to e raised to m tan inverse of x into derivative of tan inverse of x. That is m tan inverse of x, e raised to m tan inverse of x. 
derivative of tan inverse of x is 1 upon 1 m upon 1 plus x square sorry 1 upon x square therefore dy by dx divided term 1 plus x square into dy by dx equals to m e raised to m tan inverse of x 1 plus x square dy by dx equals to m y the value of e raised to m tan inverse of x is 1 now again differentiate this with respect to x then you are getting by using applying the product rule 1 plus x square derivative of dy by dx is d2y by dx square plus dy by dx into derivative of 1 plus x square derivative of 1 is 0 and x square is a 2x next is equal to m derivative of y which is dy by dx Two x into dy by dx is equal to m into dy by dx. Therefore, one plus x square d two y by dx square plus two x minus m into dy by dx. That is, we take the this term from the right hand side and becomes minus. Therefore, two x minus m into dy by dx is equal to zero. this again y is equal to e raised to m tan inverse of x this we want to prove y is equal to e raised to m tan inverse of x differentiate this with respect to x dy by dx e raised to m tan inverse of x derivative of this quantity e raised to m tan inverse of x derivative of tan inverse of x is 1 upon 1 plus x square 1 plus x square into dy by dx is equal to m into e raised to m tan inverse of x. Again, subtract the value of this e raised to m tan inverse of x. It's a y. Again, differentiate and you are getting the final answer. And next is number 3. If x is equal to cos t, y is equal to e raised to m t, then show that one minus x square into d two y by d x square minus x into d y by d x minus m square y is equal to zero. Now x is equal to cos t. And y is equal to e raised to m. Differentiate. dx upon dt is minus sine of t. And dy by dt is a e raised to mt into derivative of mt is m. That is e raised to mt into m. Therefore dx upon dy by dx is equal to dy upon dt upon dx upon dt. That is equal to e raised to mt into m upon minus sin t. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to minus e raised to that is m into e raised to mt upon sin t minus m into e raised to mt upon sin t. Now next is this is a divide by dx minus n y upon in root of one minus cos square. This is important step. What is the y? The value of y is the e raised value of y is e raised to mt. Therefore, we have substituted. But what is the sign t? Is there any rule? There is not rule. We have to prove that just like that's why we are doing the arrangement. Less sign t means what? In root of 1 minus cos square. And therefore, we have cos of t is a x. 
therefore dy by dx is equal to minus n y in root of 1 minus x square. Product that is in root of 1 minus x square into dy by dx is equal to minus m y. Again, difference squaring on both sides. Therefore, you will get 1 minus x square dy by dx bracket square is equal to m square y square. Now again differentiate this with respect to x, 1 minus y square and the derivative of this power that is a 2 times dy by dx into d2y by dx square plus dy by dx bracket square into derivative of 1 minus x square, 1 is 0, x square is a 2x is equals to m, 2m square. Now here what is here, y square that is a 2y into dy by dx. Now overall again we have one more common term that is a 2 into dy by dx that we will cancel. That is in bracket 1 minus x square into 2 into dy by dx into d2y by dx square minus 2x into dy by dx bracket square is equals to 2y into m square y. Now 2 into dy by dx that is a 1 minus x square into d2 y by dx square is equal to minus x into dy by dx is equal to m square y and that is equal to 0 and cancelling on both sides that is the 2 dy by dx. And that is the answer 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square minus x into dy by dx minus m square y is equal to 0. And hence it is a proof. See this again here. If you want to write down from the board dx upon dt is minus sin t dy upon dt is equal to e raise to mt into m and that's why dy by dx is equal to dy by dt upon dx upon dt e raise to mt into m upon minus sin t and therefore dy by dx is equal to minus m e raise to mt upon sin t and that's why you are getting dy by dx is equal to minus m the value of y is e raise to mt upon a root of 1 minus cos square t and therefore dy by dc equals to minus n y upon a root of 1 minus x square t. Now the product is squaring on both sides therefore you will get 1 minus x square into dy by dx bracket square m square y. Now differentiate this with respect to x 1 minus x square derivative of dy by dx bracket square is a 2 dy by dx into d2y by dx square plus dy by dx bracket square the root of 1 minus x square is 1 is 0 x square is a minus 2x and y square is a 2m y into dy by dx now cancel the term from that is a 2 dy by dx and that's why you are getting 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square minus x into dy by dx minus m square y is equal to 0 now let's see the next example. If y is equal to x tan x, then show that cos square x into d2y by dx square minus 2y plus 2x is equal to 0. Now y is equals to x plus tan x. Differentiate this with respect to x dy by dx derivative of x is 1 and derivative of tan is a 6 plus. Now see 
sec square is 1 plus tan square x that is 1 plus 1 2 plus tan square x therefore dy by dx is equal to 2 plus tan square x now again differentiate this with respect to x therefore d2y by dx square is equal to 2 plus that is a 2 into derivative of tan square is the 2 into tan x into derivative of tan x which is the sec square x. That is a d2y by dx square is equal to 2 tan x into sec square x. Therefore d2y by dx square is equal to 2 tan x upon cos square x. Therefore cos square x into d2y by dx square is equal to 2 tan x. Now what we want to prove? That is a cos square x plus 2 d2y by dx square minus 2 tan x is equal to that is the tan x is equal to y minus x. Now substitute the value of that tan x in terms of x and y. Therefore, cos square x into d2y by dx square minus 2 in bracket y minus x is equal to 0. Therefore, cos square x into d2y by dx square minus 2y plus 2x is equal to 0. And this we want to prove. Cos square x into d2y by dx square minus 2y minus plus 2x is equal to 0. Now, next is, if you want to write, you can write here, one plus six square, six square means what, one plus ten square, that is dy by dx is equal to two plus ten x. It's all in a different manner. Again, derivative of tan square x is a 2 tan x into derivative of tan x is a 6 square x. D2y by dx square is equal to 2 tan. And cos square means what 1 upon 6 square means what 1 upon cos square. Cross multiply. You get the answer in a very different way. The kai kai substitute karto to tan manje y minus x ka kai and then product it like this. I don't like this. Okay, okay, it doesn't matter. We want to prove like that. We will apply the ideas from our mathematics or talent. Therefore, it is a cos square x into d2y by dx square minus 2y plus 2x is equal to 0. And hence, this is the proof. Now, the next example. If y is equal to e raised to x into sine of dx, then show that y2 minus 2ay1 plus in bracket a square plus b square into y is equal to 0. y is equal to e raised to x sine of dx. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Now if we differentiate, then dy by dx is equal to e raised to x cos of dx into derivative of dx is b plus sine of dx into derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x into derivative of x is a. Now take common the e raised to x as a common, then in bracket you will get b cos of dx, b cos of dx plus a sine of dx. Now differentiate again with respect to x, d2y by dx square is equal to e raised to x, derivative of 
sin of bx is minus sin of cos of bx is minus sin of bx into derivative of bx is b and b into b that become minus b square sin of bx. Derivative of sin of bx is cos of bx into derivative of bx is b that is a into b cos of bx minus b square sin of bx. d2y by dx square is equals to e raised to ax in bracket minus b square sin of dx plus ab cos of dx. Therefore, we have d2y by dx square is equal to these terms. I will show you. Take e raised to x as a common. Then you are getting that a square sine of bx minus b square sine of bx plus. 2ab cos of dx d2y by dx square is equals to e raised to x a square minus b square into sin of dx plus 2ab cos of dx this is d2y by dx square That is nothing but the y. Now d2y by dx square minus 2ay1 that is dy by dx plus a square plus b square y is equals to 0. Now substitute the value. What is d2y by dx square? e raised to x in bracket a square minus b square sine of bx plus 2ab cos of bx bracket complete minus 2 a the value of dy by dx what is the dy by dx e raised to x e raised to x b cos of bx plus a sine of bx plus a square b square into y. The value of y. What is the value of y? e raised to x into sin of bx. Therefore e raised to x if you take the common then in bracket you will get a square minus b square sin of bx plus 2ab cos of dx minus 2ab cos of dx normal multiplication simple multiplication minus 2a square sin of dx and that's plus a square plus b square into sine of dx. That is e raised to x. Now we will simplify this. A square minus b square minus 2 a square plus b square a square plus b square sine of dx. We are collecting the terms of sin of dx and cos get cancelled. Therefore, e raised to x into 0 that is equal to 0. Therefore, y2 
minus 2ay1 plus a square plus b square into y is equal to 0. And hence it is a full. Now see this full example once again. This is the first derivative. Divided by dx equals to dx to x, b cos of dx plus a sin of dx. Differentiate again with respect to x, b divided by dx square is equal to dx to x. Again, the derivative of cos of dx is a minus b d sin of dx plus sin of dx derivative is a cos of dx into b plus derivative of dx to x is dx to x into a. And keep this term as it is. Take dx to x as common. Then in bracket you are getting this is your y2 and this term can be written as d2y by dx square minus 2a dy by dx plus a square plus b square into y. Consider this LHS. Substitute the values of this LHS. This is a d2y by dx square minus 2a into y1 and last is a square plus b square into e raised to x sine of dx. Take e raised to x as a common. In bracket, you are getting all these terms that get cancelled. These two terms get cancelled. A minus b square sine of dx. Minus 2a square sine of dx. And here is a plus a square b square sine of dx. Minus 2a is plus 1 plus 1 get cancelled. And next is minus b square sine of dx and plus that get cancelled. And that's why y1 minus 2ay1 plus a square plus b square into y is equal to 0. Now next example. Number 6. If sec inverse 7x cube minus 5 y cube upon 7x cube plus 5 y cube is equal to n. Then show that d2y by dx square is equal to g. This type of examples that we saw in the previous exercise. Now sec inverse in bracket 7x cube minus 5y cube upon 7x cube plus 5y cube is equals to n. Therefore, 7x cube minus 5y cube upon 7x cube plus 5y cube is equals to n. Second, that is equals to k. Now make the cross multiplication. 7x square minus 5y cube is equals to 7x cube plus 5y cube into k. Therefore, 7x cube x square minus 7x cube cube terms are there all are x7 common 1 minus k x cube 5k plus 1y cube therefore y cube upon x cube is equals to 7 in bracket 1 minus k upon 5 in bracket 1 plus 5 k plus 1 that is equal to a. This is a constant which is should have. Take cube root on both sides. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to dy by dx is equal to a, which is another constant. dy by dx by mistake is a k, which is not the k, it is x. Now differentiate this with respect to 
x x into dy by dx minus y into derivative of x is 1 upon x square is equals to 0. Therefore, x into dy by dx minus y is equals to 0. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to y upon x. Now, differentiate again with respect to x. d2y by dx square is equals to again a. Because y upon x we have that is it. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to a. And hence, d2y by dx square is equals to 0. Now I will show once again to you. It is a. For example, m. This becomes second, which is k multiplication, cross multiplication, 7x cube minus 5x cube is equal to 7x cube plus 5y cube into 2. Take the terms of the x cube and y cube separately. y cube upon x cube. Take cube root. y upon x is a. Differentiate with respect to x, apply the quotient rule x in dy by dx minus y into 1 upon x square is equal to 0, and then x into dy by dx minus y is equal to 0, dy by dx is equal to y upon x is equal to a. Again, find out second derivative that is a d2y by dx square is equal to derivative of a is 0, and hence it is a proof. Now the next is if two y is equals to in root of one plus x plus in root of x minus one, show that four in bracket x square minus one into y two plus 4xy1 minus y is equals to 0. Now 2y is equals to in root of x plus 1 plus in root of x minus 1. This is the first. Now differentiate this with respect to x. That is a 2 into dy by dx. Derivative of root of that is 1 upon root of x plus 1 plus root of x minus 1. Therefore, 2 dy by dx is equal to 1 upon 2 root of x plus 1 upon 1 upon 2 times in root of x plus 1, 1 upon 2 in root of x plus 1. D dx of x plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 times in root of x plus minus 1 into d dx of x plus 1, x minus 1, 2 into dy by dx, that is the 2 in root of x plus 1. 1 upon 2 in root of x minus 1. Two into the other dx. One upon two. Cross multiplication is here. Take one upon two as a common. Then in bracket you are getting one upon root of x plus 1, 1 upon root of x minus 1, cross multiplication, root of x plus x minus 1 plus root of x plus 1, upon root of x plus 1 into root of x minus 1. Next is, that is, y into dy by dx is equals to, that is, 2 into dy by dx, sorry, 2 into dy by dx is equals to 1 upon 2. This is, important. What is the value of y? The value of the 2y is the root of x plus 1 plus root of x minus 1. That's why we have substituted here 2y. Now these two to get cancelled and you are getting two. 
this we have substituted a value and again what is the y that is in root of see this here that is a 2 in root of x plus 1 into in root of y minus 1 is equals to 1 Next is in root of x plus 1 into in root of x minus 1 is nothing but the x square minus 1 into dy by dx is equals to r. Squaring on both sides. Therefore, you will get 4 in bracket x square minus 1 into dy by dx y square is equals to is equals to y square. Now differentiate this with respect to x. These are very tough examples. That is 4 in bracket x square minus 1 into ddx of dy by dx bracket square. Plus derivative of this y square is a 2y into dy by dx. It's on that side, but before that, we will write the derivative of that the ddx of 4 in bracket x square minus 1 bracket complete into dy by dx bracket square that is equals to 2y into dy by dx. Now, overall, you will again cancel that the 2 times dy by dx that is a 4 in bracket x square minus 1 into 2 dy by dx into d2y by dx square plus. 4 derivative of x square is a 2x dy by dx bracket square is equals to 2y into dy by dx. Now cancel or throw 2 into dy by dx. Therefore, you will get Four in bracket x square minus one into d two y by d x square plus four x into d y by d x is equals to y and that is a four x in bracket x square minus one d two y by d x square plus four x d y by d x is equals minus y is equals to zero and then we substitute that particularly d2 y by dx square is equals to y2 dy by dx is equals to y1. This is the examples. Example then you can see that. this is y1, y2, y1. Yes. Differentiate this. cross multiplication 2y divided by 1 upon 2 this is the value of the y this is a 2y in root of x minus 1 plus in root of x plus 1 this is a 2y 2 to get cancelled this is divided it becomes multiplied that is a 2 in root of x plus 1 into in root of x minus 1 into divided by is equal to y it becomes 2 in root of x square minus 1 into divided by x is equal to y squaring on both sides that is a 4 x square minus 1 into dy by dx bracket square is equals to y square. Differentiate with respect to x. 4 x square minus 1 derivative of dy by dx bracket square. That is a 2 times dy by dx into derivative of dy by dx into dy by dx square. And derivative of y square is a 2y into dy by dx. Now here is also product rule that is a ddx of 4 in bracket x square minus 1 into dy by dx bracket square. If you cancel it on both sides, that the 4 in bracket x square minus 1 into 2 in 2 dy by dx into d2y by dx square plus all these examples are tough, you have to solve very sincerely plus 2, 4 into 2x dy by dx bracket square is equal to 2y into dy by dx. Canceling, cancellation on both sides, 2 dy by dx and you are getting 4 x square minus 1 into d2y by dx square plus 4x dy by dx minus 1. 
is equals to 0. Now we have to prove that this is y2 and this is y1. We can understand this. I will create the next example. Eight one. If y is equals to log of in bracket x plus in root of bracket s square, then show that x square plus a square into d two y by dx square plus x into d y by dx is equals to zero. Now y is equals to log of x plus in root of x square plus a square bracket s to m. Differentiate this with respect to x. dy by dx is equals to m. Using the rules of the logarithm, m into log, log of x plus in root of x square plus a square, 1 upon x plus in root of x square plus a square into d dx of x plus in root of x square plus a square. Derivative of x is 1, that is a dy by dx is equals to m upon x plus in root of x square plus a square. Into d dx of x plus in root of derivative of x is 1 root of x square plus it's a derivative is 1 upon 2 times in root of x square plus a square into d dx of x square plus a square which is a 2x x square plus a square that is a dy by dx is equal to m upon in bracket x plus in root of x square plus a square into 2 to get 1 plus 1 upon 2 in root of x square plus a square into 2x, this 2 to get cancelled, m upon x plus in root of x square plus a square into 2 to get cancelled, therefore x plus in root of x square plus a square. These 2 get cancelled. That is equal to m upon in root of x square plus a square. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to m upon in root of x square plus a square. That is in root of x square plus a square into dy by dx is equals to Now, squaring on both sides. Therefore, you will get x square plus a square into dy by dx bracket square is equals to m square. Therefore, differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, x square plus a square ddx of bracket dy by dx bracket square and their derivative m square is 0 plus dy by dx bracket square into ddx of x square plus s square that is equals to 0. Therefore, x square plus s square ddx of that is a 2 into dy by dx into derivative of dy by dx which is d2y by dx square plus dy by dx bracket square into derivative of x square plus s square which is 2x that is equal to 0. Now 2 into dy by dx on both sides get cancelled then you are getting x square plus s square into d2y by dx square plus that term will get cancelled in the next step and separating it now cancel it 2 into dy by dx. Therefore, x square plus a square 
डी टू आई बाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स इन टू डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो पर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर डी टू आई बाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स इन टू डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो and hence it is a proof now see this again let's take the apply the rules of law differential dy by dx m is 1 upon into derivative of t simplify this this is the common simplification we have done number of the times that is m upon x plus in root of x square plus a square into 1 plus 1 upon 2 times in root of x square plus a square into derivative of x square plus a square into x into that cancel. If you simplify it, then again you are getting that in root of x square plus a square into 1 plus x upon in root of x square plus a square. Now these two terms get cancelled here, and that's why you are getting dy by dx is equal to what is there n upon in root of x square plus a square. This divided by x squaring one, that is in root of x square plus a square into divided by x is equal to squaring on both sides. Differentiate with respect to x. Apply the product rule. This is first derivative of this plus second term derivative of the first term. Derivative of m square is zero. X square plus a square derivative of this. That is two y into divided by x into d two y by d square derivative of two y by d x. Plus d y by d x bracket square into derivative of x square plus a square which is two x equals to zero. Now cancellations on both sides two into d y by d x. Hence you are getting the result. Now the next is ninth one. If y equals to m cos inverse of x. Then show that one minus x square into d two y by d x square minus x into d y by d x plus m square y is equal to zero. Y is equal to sine m cos inverse. M cos inverse, not sine. Is there mistake? We'll find out that mistake. Now I have changed the sign. That is a instead of that the sign, it's a cos inverse. Why is equals to Sin m cos inverse of x. Therefore, sin inverse of y is equal to m cos inverse of x. Differentiate with respect to x. Therefore, one upon in root of one minus y square into dy by dx is equal to derivative of cos inverse. That is the minus m into one upon in root of one minus x square. And simplify this. That is a one upon a root of x. Minus y square on the right hand side will go to the left hand side. That is in root of one minus x square into d y by d x is equal to minus m into in root of one minus x square into in root of one minus x square. Now squaring on both sides, therefore you will get one minus x square into d y by d x bracket square is equal to m square in bracket one minus y square. After the squaring on both sides. Now differentiate it with respect to x. Now here apply the product rule. That is a one minus a square into d dx of d y by d x bracket square plus d y by d x bracket square into d dx of one minus x square. That is equals to m square into derivative of one minus y square. If we differentiate it, d y by d x bracket square is a derivative of two y into d y by d Into derivative of dy by dx is a dy by dx square plus dy by dx bracket square into derivative of one is a zero x square is a minus two x that is equals to 
m square and ddx of 1 is 0, y square is a minus 2y into dy by dx. That is a 2 into dy by dx cancel throughout. Then you are getting 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square minus x into dy by dx minus is equals to minus m square y. And that is why you will get the answer that is 1 minus x square d2y by dx square minus x into dy by dx plus m square y is equals to 0 and it is a total. You can see this again here. What is the change there? The right by mistake is a cos not sign and we can end up their derivatives. Now next is next example. Example number 10. If y is equals to log of log of 2x, then show that x y 2 plus y 1 in bracket 1 plus x y 1 is equals to 0. Then show that x y 2 plus y 1 in bracket 1 plus x y 1 is equals to 0. Now y is equals to log of log of 2 x. Differentiate dy by dx is equals to ddx of log of log of 2 x. It's a derivative is 1 upon log of 2x into derivative of log of that is a ddx of log of 2x. Next step 1 upon log of 2x into derivative of log of 2x is 1 upon 2x into derivative of ddx of 2x is 2. Therefore, 1 upon log of 2x, derivative of 2x is 2, 2 upon 2x, dy by dx is equal to 2 to get cancelled, then you are getting, now the derivative is, that is the log of 2x into dy by dx is equal to, One upon x differentiate both sides with respect to x we get log of 2x into ddx of dy by dx plus dy by dx into ddx of log of 2x is equals to ddx of 1 upon x. Therefore, log of 2x into derivative of d2y by dx square plus dy by dx derivative of log of 2x is 1 upon 2x into derivative of 2x is 2. That is equals to minus 1 upon x square. Therefore, log of 2x into d2y by dx square plus dy by dx is equals to minus 1 upon x square. I think that 1x is remaining here. 1 upon x. Okay. Therefore, log of 2x into d2y by dx square plus log of 2x into dy by dx into dy by dx is equal to I think that it is a value of 1 upon x, which is the log of 2x into dy by dx is equal to into dy by dx is equal to minus 1 upon x. Again, substitute the value of log of x. Yeah. Therefore,
dividing throughout the whole expression by log of x, then you will get d2y by dx square plus dy by dx bracket square is equals to minus 1 upon x into dy by dx. Multiply on both sides by x, then you will get x into d2y by dx square plus x into dy by dx by x square minus dy by dx. Therefore, x into d2y by dx square plus x into dy by dx bracket square dy by dx mm, plus x into dy by dx bracket square is equal to 0. And now simplify it again x into d2y by dx square plus dy by dx plus x into dy by dx bracket square. And then take the common that I have not done. Return the answer in the form of the dy by dx. You can write it. Now see this answer here. Y is equals to log of y is equals to log of log of two x. That x y two plus y one in bracket one plus x y one. I had written my answer in the form of the dy by dx. That is y log of log of two x. Therefore dy by dx is equals to its derivative. Next is 1 upon 2x into derivative of log of 2x is 1 upon 2x, derivative of 2x is 2. Log of 2x into dy by dx is equals to 1 upon x. Now differentiate again with respect to x. Apply the product rule. Derivative of 1 upon x is 1 upon x squared. Now this is the value which required. That is 1 upon x log of 2x into dy by dx. Log of 2x into ddx of log of dy by dx plus dy by dx into ddx of log of 2x is equals to ddx of 1 upon x. It's a differentiation. d2 i by dx square 1 upon 2x derivative of 2x is 2 minus 1 upon x square. Log of 2x into d2 i by dx square plus 1 upon x into dy by dx is equals to minus 1 upon x square. And that's why log of 2x into d2 i by dx square. Substitute the value of 1 upon x. What is the value of 1 upon x? That is the log of 2x into dy by dx. This is log of 2x into d, dy by dx into dy by dx is equals to minus. Again, split up this. 1 upon x square means what? 1 upon x into 1 upon x. 1 upon x is log of 2x into dy by dx. And that's why you are getting divide cancellation on the both sides log of 2x. Therefore, you will get d2y by dx square plus dy by dx bracket square minus 1 upon x into dy by dx. Write in this form that is x into d2y by dx square plus dy by dx plus x into dy by dx bracket square. Now in the textbook the answer is xy2 plus dy by dx plus x dy by dx bracket square. Now from this term we can take y1 as common then in bracket we will get 1 plus x. 1 plus x into y1 bracket complete into y1. In this form we have, we have the answer. You can write it. Next thing, or numeral like in this manner also doesn't matter. Now next example. That is example number eleven. If x square plus six x y plus y square is equal to ten, then show that. d2y by dx square is equals to 80 upon 3x plus y bracket q. x square plus 6xy plus y square is equals to 10. Differentiate this with respect to x on both sides. Derivative of x square is a 2x. 6 in bracket derivative of x1, derivative of x is 1, plus x into dy by dx, derivative of y, derivative of y square is a 2y into dy by dx, and derivative of 10 is 0. Now the next is, 
टू एक्स प्लस सिक्स वाई प्लस सिक्स इंटू डीवाई बाई एक्स प्लस टू वाई इंटू डीवाई बाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो Now the next is. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, d two y by d x square is equal to. Apply the quotient rule. Three x plus y into d d x of x plus three y minus x plus three y into d d x of three x plus y upon three x plus y bracket square. That is. d two y by d x square is equals to minus in bracket three x plus y derivative of x is one and three y is a three into d y by d x minus in bracket x plus three y derivative of three x is three and y is a d y by d x upon three x plus y bracket square and if we simplify this. That is a minus sign. The denominator. That is a minus. That is one upon three x plus y bracket square. Now simplify this. Minus three x plus y. That is one minus. I mean that this is the derivative uh, value of the dy by dx. This is the value of dy by dx. Again, we are substituting the value of the dy by dx in another expression. Now simplify all the expression. That is one upon three x plus y bracket square. That is a minus three minus three x plus y minus three x plus y minus three x minus nine y upon three x plus y plus x plus three y three in bracket three x. Now these two terms get cancelled, and you are getting minus in bracket minus eight y plus x plus three y. It is a nine nine x plus three y minus x minus three y three x plus y. Overall, it will become eight x upon three x plus y. Again, simplify this. That is one upon three x plus y bracket square. Minus minus will become plus eight y plus eight x into x plus three y upon three x plus y. Simplify this. One upon three x plus y bracket square. Eight y into three x plus y. 8x into x plus 3y, 3x plus y, that is 3x plus y bracket cube, 24x y plus 8y square plus 8x square plus 24xy, that is 1 upon 3x. 
plus y bracket q it is a 8x square plus 48x1 plus 8y square and it's very interesting now what is the value of what is the value of 8 in bracket x square plus 8xy plus y cube is given which is the 10 10 into 8 80 that is 80 upon 3x plus y bracket q and this you have to prove that is 80 upon 3x plus y bracket q this is the long big example therefore d2y by dx square is equals to 80 upon 3x plus y bracket q now if we want to write this then see this example see this here differentiate first step differentiate find out the value of dy by dx this is the first important step because you are substituting the value of dy by dx in some way second step differentiate again apply the quotient to you are substituting the this dy by dx what is the value of the dy by dx what is the value of the dy by dx minus in bracket x plus 3y upon 3x plus y here okay there is x derivative of x is 1 and 3 here is and then simplify you are simplifying this first term first and then the next term that is a 9x plus 3y minus 6 minus 3y upon 3x plus 1 and after simplifying you are getting this expression and then its a power becomes 3x plus y bracket raised to 3 and this is the expression take 8 as common then you are getting the 8 in bracket x square plus 6 x y plus y square and the value of this total is this is which is our example this is the 10 so value is a 10 and 10 into 8 that is 8 and in this way see this here right now the last eight examples of this question If x is equal to a sin t minus b cos t, and y is equal to a cos t plus b sin t, then show that d2y by dx square is equal to minus x square plus y square upon y cube x square plus y square upon y cube not x cube it's by mistake it is y cube there is a mistake in writing <coughs> therefore d2y by dx square is equals to minus x square plus y square upon y cube now we have x is equals to y is equals to a sin t minus b cos t y is equals to a cos t plus b sin t dx upon dt is equals to a cos t minus in bracket minus b sin t dy by dx is equals to minus a sin t plus b cos t it's a derivative normal derivative dx upon dt you have this a cos t plus b sin t dy by dt is equals to minus a sin t plus b cos t Therefore, dy by dx is equal to dy by dt upon dx upon dt, which is minus a sin t plus b cos t upon a cos t plus b sin t. Take minus sign as common, then in bracket you will get a sin t minus b cos t upon a cos t plus b sin t. And that is nothing but dy by dx is equal to minus x upon y. Now differentiate this with respect to again x, that is the d2y by dx square and ddx of x upon y. Therefore, y into derivative of x minus x into derivative of y upon y square. 
that is y into 1 minus x into dy by dx upon y square. Now again substitute the value of dy by dx. What is the dy by dx? It is a minus x upon y. Here is y are substituting minus x upon y and simplify this. This minus minus will become plus that is y plus x square upon y upon y square. Therefore, you are getting y square plus x square upon y into y which becomes y cube and hence it is a proof. Therefore, d2y by dx square is equals to minus is equals to minus x square plus y square upon y cube and in this way we have completed up to the question number 3. I had explained all the examples in a very simple and simple way in both ways when I am writing on the board and when I complete my writing on the board. I hope that you, have, you will have understood all the problems whatever that I have explained. Now we will see the next part of the video. In that video I am covering the next question that is a question number 4 that is very important that is the nth order derivative. Now we will see in the next video. Till then, goodbye.